We've been using this kind of chicken feeder for a couple of years now. Uh, we've got a little bit bigger galvanized one in the run right now. Um, we've got a few of these we've been using for a while. They work okay, but the chickens um, really make a mess. Uh, and there's always food out underneath of the feeder. So today I'm gonna build a little bit of a bigger feeder that we can not have to refill all the time. We'll see how it goes. First, I'm gonna cut off uh, this large knob here at the bottom, right here in the line, and then um, that way it can slide in, and then I'll cut this guy at an angle right here, and I'm gonna do all these cuts uh, on my chop saw. I'm gonna try to heat it up, see if I can push that through. Yeah, that seemed to work. I was surprised. hole this makes uh, and that works perfectly this three inch hole saw and I could just kind of heat it up and then whoop, push these things right through they just kind of went right through without any problems at all this is tape holding in there now but uh, once they cool if they're not in nice and tight then I'll go ahead and uh, gorilla glue I'll scoot them out a little bit throw some gorilla glue in there whoop, nice and tight awesome. looks so good project was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It went together really, really quick. I'm really happy with it. Chickens love it. It's a great little feeder. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the videos, subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thanks. <laughs>